If you are enjoying this course, please support us on social media and visit our website stateofdata.com for more free educational resources on Python programming, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science. If you could also leave a review, we would really appreciate that. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask us at any time via the course discussion board or via direct message or by sending us an email via our website. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hello and welcome back. So the first thing we want to do is what's called procedural abstraction. And this is a really powerful idea. This is one of the ways we avoid having to do things over and over again by hand. So we can write the code once and use it many times changing the inputs to get different behaviors. So remember the code we had earlier. And if you look at each segment of the code here, these lines were copied exactly the same way. So we did the same thing over and over again, the same five lines of code to find the start of a link, to find the start and end code, and then to extract the link, and then to print the URL. The only thing that was different is the value of page. We kept updating the value of page. So we did that as we went through the code, we updated the value of page with this assignment and before this one, we updated the value of page with this assignment. So the idea behind procedural abstraction is that anything that we're doing over and over again, we want to abstract, uh, want to make it a procedure, and we want to make the things that change inputs. That means instead of having to type this code over and over again, we want to make page an input. That's something that changes. And we want to make the URL that's the result we want to output. That's our goal to turn this code into a procedure where page is the input. We can do the same code over and over again. And every time we do it, we want to get this URL value as the output. So I hope this has been clear for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'll make sure to answer as soon as I have a free minute. And if you enjoyed the course so far, please help us spread in the world by leaving a review and give us your feedback about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next lecture.